Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 13-box Sweet Spot Baseball Mixer. No vet common ship. All teams are in on a lot of nice boxes in here as well. There's also a box of 2020 Tops Rip. They're all rip cards. They're just going to ship sealed. They'll go to the team on the... Uh, well, we're going to ship them sealed, so we'll go to that team that's pictured on the, on the front, not what's inside. A lot of other good stuff, though. Nice. And this also unlocks the uh, that Jersey Palooza promo. So that's going to happen in a separate video after this break. And there should there'll be a recap at the end of this break as well. Big thanks to or the video. Big thanks to all the people who bought their spots straight up. And congrats to the winners of spots right there as well. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Five and a five, ten times. Hard ten. Five, six, seven. And 10th and final time. After 10, we got Matt Lieber down to Adam Kupperman. All right, five out of five, 10 times for the teams. Good luck. Nine and tenth and final time. After ten, we got the Brew Crew down to my Dodgers. The world champion Dodgers. Brewers down to Los Angeles. And here's how it shakes out. Matt with the Brew Crew. Cat with the Astros. Ben with the Giants. Adam with the Rangers, Anthony with the Rays, Vinny with the Phillies, Brian with the Padres, TJ with the Rockies, Seth with the Braves, Rick Serrano with the Yankees, Kyle with the Indians, Brian with the Blue uh, Diamondbacks, Allen with the Blue Jays. You also have the A's with the spot that you won, Seth with the Royals, Johnny with the Mets, Andrew with the Cardinals, Kevin with the Reds, Matt with the Angels, John with the Cubs, Ross, you have the Pirates, Ryan with the Twins, Kyle with the Nats, Catherine with the M's, Ryan with the Tigers, Ross with the Marlins, Seth with the White Sox, Dario with the Orioles, Matthew T with the Red Sox, Last Spot Mojo, Star next to your name, and Adam with my Dodgers. So let's get everybody's names all on one screen. Let's sort this by column B, by team, and we're going to pause the video, allow for some trades. Rockies up for trade, Royals up for trade as well. So. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. There was a deal done. So Seth is out of the Royal spot and into the Rocky spot. We'll put a T next to there for trade. And TJ now into the out of the Rocky spot and into the Royal spot right there. And the trade window has been closed. Let's print and rip. Good luck. All right, do I have the, what is it, 13 boxes? 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? No, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, got it. Losing my mind for a second here. See all the boxes on the top camera right there as well. The different angle. Let's show you the list really quick. There it is, the final printout. Thanks everyone for getting in. Thanks for spending a bit of your Saturday with me as well. I appreciate that. All right, let's roll. Let's just let's knock out this elite box first from 2015. I've got Utah Washington on. Is there is there another game I should be watching maybe?
do that Georgia South Carolina game. Good luck, everybody. All right. Nolan Ryan, career best, 182 out of 299. Career best material. Career best strikeouts of 383. Wow. That is California Anaheim Angels of Orange County edition, Matt Arnold, with the Halos. There you go. Brad says he saw that Tua flawless on Instagram. And at first glance, looks like he's jumping up and doing the splits. I bet he could. DJ would have traded the uh, would have traded the Orioles for a chocolate chip cookie. Here's two out of seventy-five, Christian Walker. And I'm not sure where where was Christian Walker in twenty. Is he a Diamondback in 2015? No, he's a Diamondback now. He would be an Oriole previously. That goes to DJ Dario and the O's. Remember, the only, the only bad teams are the ones that don't hit. All right, there's Trevor Maid, 199. We'll sleeve and top load all of these later on. Just in the interest of time, we're going to keep cruising here. Freddie Freeman, Adrian Gonzalez, who got a randomizer to do at the end. There's Strasburg to 199. One happy person. One sad person, this back-to-back -back dual bat relic. Nice, Eb. Thank you. Um, I guess I'll put you right here so that it'll remind me to do that. And then we've got, for the Rays, Future Threads, Kevin Crimeer. Nice. Kyer Mir. Kier Meyer. Kier Meyer. 137 out of 299. I don't know why that name jams me up. Anthony with the Rays. He won that in uh, one of our filler breaks. And there's Gregory Polanco for the Pirates. That's going to go to... Uh, Ross got randomized the Buckos. And we got Adrian Beltre, 23 out of 71 die cut for the Rangers. That's going to go to Adam Copperman in Texas. There's Cliff Lee right here as well. Right, maybe these rip cards we'll do a little bit later. Let's get let's get this uh, 2020 Topps baseball, Topps update baseball out of the way here. So we're looking for one autograph and two relic cards. I think it's mostly relics. The autographs are fewer and far between. There are the exclusive packs there.
Good luck. Oh, is there any baseball news happening? This the hot stove seems to be a little cold, doesn't it? I guess there was that Rockies Reds trade, Jeff Hoffman for Robert Stevenson. Robert Stevenson, kind of a big Reds prospect, I thought. What else is happening here? Braves signed Charlie Morton. That's right, they did. Because Pirates designate Trevor Williams for assignment. Orioles designate Renato Nunez. Rays designate Hunter Renfro. Ron Fowler steps down as Padres chairman with uh, with Pete Seidler being elevated to that position. I guess Jed Hoyer agreeing to a five-year deal. Oh, Mike Clevenger, right? That's kind of a big news. Clevenger to undergo Tommy John surgery. Which pretty much knocks him out for the entirety of the 2021 season. Padres might be looking for, uh, for some pitching. Drew Smiley, we heard about Kim Ng. I guess, I guess that's it. And there is an autograph, Ryan McMahon. Autograph for the Rockies. That's Seth drawing first blood in that Rockies uh, Royals deal. A baseball stars autograph. Garrett Richard is on the Blue Jays radar, according to MLB trade rumors. Mel Rojas Jr. drawing interest after an MVP caliber KBO season. Some nice Aros Arania here. I guess. I guess his legal troubles were not that bad. There's Albert Pujols. Some kind of variation here. No charges, I think, for Aros Arania. He's okay. And we got a Derek Jeter, 20 years of the captain relic. That'll be for Rick Serrano, who got randomized at the Yankees. Could this fit into a 140 All right, Perfect size. We got an Anthony Rizzo All Star Game card.
and 53 out of 99, we've got Giovanni Gallegos for Andrew and the Cardinals. Shipments going out today, folks. A lot of shipments. Remember, just as a public service announcement, just know that uh, each day we get closer to Christmas, it, the shipping, the United States Postal Service gets busier and busier, so you may start experiencing some delays. You might be lucky and not experience any delays at all, but you might experience some, some delays. So just bear, bear with us and the Postal Service on that. They're doing their best to get everything delivered. Uh oh, you've got you've got the you've got the wife watching now. It's Glaber Day. Well, good. It it is a family friendly show, for, fun for everybody, significant others, kids, grand grandpas, grandmas, aunts, uncles, friends, coworkers, and everybody in between. <laughs> Yeah, no worries, Michael. Yeah, so just keep in mind, could be could be some delays. Sometimes the tracking number may may make it look like it's stuck in transit somewhere. It's not. It's on its way. It's fine. Sometimes that's the first thing I feel like goes, especially during the remember during the pen at the height of the summer pandemic. You know, a lot of times the the tracking number. Um, scanning is the first thing to to go so like so don't worry sometimes those updates can be sluggish Ooh, nice Michael that's a good good mail day for you here's the exclusive packs here Couple, some Burrow, Chase Young Redemptions, nice. Sign your cards, Chase. Oh, this is the, I kind of love this. Let's save this for a second. <laughs> All right, some nice stuff there. This is an actual like patch, like a patch you would maybe iron on a, on a sick denim jacket. You'd be the coolest kid on the block, I think, if you had Whit Merrifield. And we get mom to iron or sew that on. That'd be awesome. That goes to TJ and the Royals. TJ. I mean, maybe go get a nice denim jacket you know, from Levi's or something. You know, or I guess you could sell it to Big Rig. You know, maybe you, maybe you get maybe you get a uh, Wood Merrifield sewed onto that old denim jacket. There you go, there you go. TJ will put it on his jean jacket with his GNR back patch. Yeah, just start adding ball players on there too. You'd be the coolest kid on the block. I kind of want to do it for real, actually. All right, next box. Good luck. That was update. You can find those those sick patches in update. Greg's done typing for the night. <laughs> All right. That's right, Prim, yeah. 
credit to uh, to Prim for that. I think when we were doing full case update breaks, met, met, mentioned that idea, and I was like, yeah, I think that's awesome. All right, so this is 2020 Donruss Optic Baseball. Maybe I do want a denim jacket for, for Christmas. Are we going gray denim jacket? Blue denim jacket? What, 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 are we, what are we going with here? Black? Black denim? There's Shogo Akiyama. And there's Jose Abreu, autograph? Autograph. Nice. Your AL MVP. Your 2020 AL MVP. We're going to Seth and the White Sox. He got randomized the White Sox with a spot that he won. Nice low number on that too. One out of ten. It was a rated prospect, Bobby Witt Jr., for TJ and the Royals. Jason Dominguez, rated prospect. People like him. And a black border Nico Horner to 125. Austin Meadows. Joey Bart's supposed to be pretty good too. Future uh, Buster Posey. That's what the Giants are hoping. Got Glaber Torres, pink velocity to 199. We got Charlie Blackman to 150. CJ Abrams, rated prospect silver, and Aaron Saval. Savali? Saval? 62 out of 75, rated rookie on card autograph for Kyle and the Tribe. That's a, that's a spot that he won as well. And the CJ Abrams will go to Padres, Brian Crouch. All right, nice. All right, next box is going to be archives. There's the Snellzilla poster. Going to the Rays, that'll be for Aaron, uh, Anthony. Christmassy color here. All right. What other? I'm, I'm, I'm on MLB.com right now. Sp George Springer to the Blue Jays? What do we think about that? Rumors? Oh, yeah. Yadier Molina is a free agent. Hmm. But are the Cardinals not going to re-sign Yadier? Can you not sign re-sign Yadier Molina? Apparently the Padres, Angels, Mets, and Yankees are, quote, motivated to sign him. It'd be weird seeing Yadier Molina not in a Cardinals uniform.
All Dario wants is a one of one Ripken. We'll see. There might be. Where could we find a Ripken? Maybe in the tops, Chrome Black might have a Ripken. I could see the autograph baseball wouldn't be a one of one, but there could be a Ripken autograph in there. Who knows what's in that Futera? Joe, have you done the math on how many boxes you've ripped? Thousands? Ten, tens of thousands? Maybe not ten. I don't know. Well, we've been doing this for about six years. How many boxes do I open up a day? I think it depends on new release day, but let's say I open up... It's a 13 box mixer. We've done... What other breaks have we done today? And let's say I do... Let's say I average 20 boxes a day. What's 20 times 5? 100? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You're right. That's 100. 100 times 52 weeks. You know, let's say, let's say I take a, let's say I take a little vacation. Sometimes I do. So let's say that's 50 weeks. 50 times 100, that's 5,000 boxes. 5,000, what's 5,000 times 6? 5 times 6 is 30. 30,000 30, boxes? But then maybe you take out a few thousand because in the early years we weren't breaking 20 boxes a night. Let's say, let's call it 25,000 boxes. Yeah, I thought Yachty was closer to retirement too, Brett. But I, I think with the shortened season, and he, I think he kind of felt good. There's Abreu again. And so I think he was like, I think I could go another year or two. So I don't know. Seems there's a bit of a mind change there. Shane Spencer on card autograph for the Yankees. Rick. Yes, Brad, I do tell my friends, don't wrap gifts for me. Uh, during the holidays, I'm done unboxing. 73 out of 75. In fact, I want it out of the box already for me. Those are all facsimile autographs in case you're wondering. They're not real autographs. Should be another autograph. It is. It's Jose Offerman. Remember Jose Offerman? There's Matthew T. with the Boston Red Sox. No worries, Rick. I think he was a Dodger for a while, yeah. In the... In the the better part of the early 90s, Dodger? I want to say I remember... What's, what's my Jose Offerman story? I don't really have a personal Jose Offerman story, but... What do I remember about Jose Offerman? I think one year he led the league. He led the league in errors, I think. It was quite frustrating in the in in the field. Dustin May to do anything? I hope so. I think I think they're gonna Dodgers will figure out what they're gonna do with Dustin May. I think they want him to be a starter, but he's shown a little some some flashes of of maybe a maybe a bullpen guy. Julio Urias too. There's Dustin May right there. He'll probably make him a starter. Julio Urias probably wants to be a starter too. But there's an outside chance I could see Julio Urias being 
being maybe have the, the, the mentality and the stuff to maybe be a back end of the rotation guy. And you'd hate to be that friend of Joe's, Prim saying, that tries to do a 20 box gift prank. It's like, yeah, no, no thanks. Last personal product that I ripped for myself. I honestly don't remember. I think, uh, probably a Pokemon, maybe a, a few Pokemon packs I probably purchased. I think maybe last year or two years ago, I bought a box of, uh, maybe it was two years ago. We were coming back from the national and I think I had bought a box of Ginter to rip at the airport while we were waiting for our flight. I don't remember what I got. I don't think it was anything exciting. Okay, so TJ likes Urius a lot more in the rotation rather than May. Yeah, I've heard I've heard both. Like one or the other may may end up doing more more bullpen stuff than the other person. I mean, if both end up being in the rotation, that'd be great too. But I don't think I'd mind either way. Both both have stuff. Both could be used. Jesus Lazardo, yeah, on the A's, Zeb. I think it could be a could be quite quite the player. Are the A's getting a new stadium? When, they, when does that happen? I'm sure COVID kind of backed up those plans, but yeah, Urias, yeah, Urias did show that he was he was kind of a few steps ahead of Dustin May. I mean, that last game, Julio Urias. See that that's that's why I was thinking. Yeah, maybe I like Urias in the in, in the rotation more as well, but I think in I think for Urias, I thought maybe he got a taste of being on the mound for the last out kind of thing. You know, does he like that? So maybe 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 that's what he's into. I'm interested, I'm, as a Dodger fan, I'm wondering what the Dodgers are going to do in the in free agency, if anything. There's Brennan Davis. What are the, what are the Cubs going to do? New GM? The coach they hired, the new coach they hired last year? Try to rebuild, rebuild the Cubs again? Uh, this goes to John Stewart. I think that's Michael Stewart in the chat, actually. 27... Out of 50, Gold Shimmer. Nice. We got Oscar Gonzalez, 11 out of 50. More, more shimmeriness happening for the tribe. That'll be for Kyle. And we've got Glenn Allen Hill Jr. for the Snakes. Brian Crouch with the Diamondbacks. Yeah, you got a Brennan Davis. Gold Shimmer autograph to 50. This goes to Brian Crouch. Yeah, Julio Urias has got a great pickoff move. To the point where, where a lot of people think it's a Bach. Here's Dustin May. But I guess if Dustin, both Dustin May and Julio Urias in the rotation, I guess, I guess post. Kershaw retirement, which is kind of weird to say. So used to seeing him in the Dodgers rotation for a while. Walker Bueller, Julio Urias, Dustin May, David Price, I guess kind of would be. I guess Kershaw probably will be mixed in there somewhere.
Bobby with Junior Paper. All right, we're almost done with all the heavy base product, folks. This break should start picking up speed once we're done with the next couple of boxes. There's Taylor Trammell. A lot of dust on this card right there, but 16 out of 50. It was a big uh, Reds prospect. There's Travis Swaggerty to 299. Do I have a specific player I like to collect? No, I don't. I don't really collect. I think uh, because I'm lucky enough to do this every day. Ooh, Dustin May autograph. We just kept talking about him and talking about him. He heard his name. He's like, I'm here, guys. Adam Copperman with my Dodgers. There you go, Adam. Hopefully a future star right here. Rookie auto, Dustin May. But yeah, uh, Zeb, I, I, I'm lucky enough to do this every day, so this, this definitely scratches the itch. I'm pretty sure that nice Dominguez Chrome, I'm pretty sure if I didn't do this, I'd probably be right where you are. This goes to the Yankees, Rick Serrano with the Jason Dominguez, the Martian. We'll get that paper Dominguez as well. Oh, who should get a face tat? Cornrow his hair out and get a face tat? Dustin May? I think he might actually look good with cornrows. Not sure about the face tat. There's Damon Jones to 499. A face tat or like a good neck tat, I think would be would be a sign that we've made it. That's what I think. If I, if I get a neck neck tat, that means I don't have to work like a like a straight job ever again. Get a big yeah. My, this my the left side of my neck is where I get the face tat because pointing right to the camera. I don't know what I'd get though. That's that's the problem. All right, Contenders Baseball. Or a throat, I'm not sure what a throat piece is. Yeah. Uh, Joaquin, where did you send this email? If it's a customer service related thing, then uh, I don't handle that. But our team will get to it. Uh, that's to 149. And we've got Robel Garcia. Oh, like a throw, pe yeah, like a throw, oh, like right here, a throw tat? I don't know, but you guys wouldn't be able to see it. Yeah, that would, that, would, that would hurt, I think. <laughs> Robel Garcia, rookie roundup. Michael Stewart with the Cubs. The 
break is this? The 13 This is the, yeah, the 13 box sweet spot. Oh. And we got for the Giants, Maurizio Dubon. That's for the Giants. That'll be for Ben. We got Sam Hilliard on card auto for the Rocks. 29 out of 99 going to Seth. All right, there you go. Joaquin, is it urgent? Might be not it might be until next week until they address that or on Monday. That is. They're kind of off and on over the weekend. There's Andres Munoz, 16 out of 23, cracked ice autograph. For the Friars. Brian Crouch with the Padres. Nice. And the redemption there. Let's see. Let's see what's in there. And Patrick Sandoval for the Halos. Matt Arnold. Rookie autograph. If it's uh, oh, so it's not urgent. Okay, I was gonna say you can just say in the say what the issue is in the chat if you wanted to. Uh, Matt Arnold, Angels, there you go. And the final one out of here. Yeah, Padres have a good young team. He's going to be Bo Bichette. There it is. Alan Murdoch wanted it because he has the blue. Yeah, Alan Murdoch wanted it, and he got it. Rookie ticket auto, Bo Bichette for Toronto. I think the Toronto Raptors are going to, the basketball team, they're going to play in Tampa Bay? If the pandemic doesn't sort itself out, where the where, Blue Jays might have to find a place to play in the United States. All right, let's go with this. Let's go with Topps Chrome Baseball from 2017. The, 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 the Blue Jays will get the vaccine first and play in Toronto behind closed doors. Will, will they will they let other baseball teams in as well? They'll get vaccinated too. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna go to pro ball players first. I don't know. I guess maybe unless the professional teams like pay triple for it. Those are the, ex the special extractor cards. All right, good luck with this one. We got Brandon Drury, Jesse Winker, David Dahl, Manny Machado. Nice, Cody Bellinger rookie card. The Cody Bellinger, Aaron Judge here, of course, 2017. This will go to the Dodgers. Rookie Belly. Do I think got a shoulder surgery? Yeah. He did, right? Not as, maybe, hopefully not serious? <laughs> Come on, Belly. Popping his... Yeah. Right, remember when he broke his foot? 
Jumping on the base. Yeah. He's repairing his right non-throwing shoulder, but that's his front shoulder when he's swinging. He'll begin rehab. He got the surgery on the 17th of November. Rehab in Arizona next week. A 10-week recovery time. What's 10 weeks? Two months? Right? That's eight weeks. Two months and a month and a half. December, January, March. I guess he'll be ready for spring training. All right. Is that a plate right there? Yeah. Giancarlo Stanton for the fish. That's for Ross and the Marlins. Ross. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Boop, boop. Then we've got a Jorge Alfaro. Negative. Film negative. All right, and the X Fractor cards, the Mayhew, Kluber, Polanco. These aren't numbered, but these look pretty sharp. Nice and Jake Odorizzi right there. All right, let's take a look at that Futera. Yeah, I'd have a mega box nonetheless. All right, Futera time. These are pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. I have to hold on to that. Yeah, not only is he yeah, a top five prospect for the Tigers, he was the number one overall pick. If I had one for everybody, Michael, I'd, I'd send it to everyone, but unfortunately not. All right. These are pretty cool looking cards. And the autograph is going to be Fabian, glory autograph, Fabian Pertuz. One out of four. There you go. Kind of has a weird penny sleeve, which doesn't have like the other side of it. It's gonna re-sleeve this. There you go. Where does he? Oh, he goes to Chicago National League. So that'll be for Michael. And a one out of four. So, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Ichiro, nice. Jason Dominguez, the Martian, and oh wow, look at that! Jason Dominguez, Phenom's autograph for Rick Serrano and the Yankees. Wow. Let's resleeve that.
Nice. Five out of eight. There you go. Nice one, Rick. I have to save that for picture time. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's a good looking card. So I think that's the hit. So there's Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Wood Jr., Roberto Campos. And Triumph autograph, Noel V. Marte for Seattle. That is for Cat and the M's. Five out of six. And the autograph is going to be uh, Luis Rodriguez for, I'm assuming, the Dodgers. There you go. Conquerors. He's got a great auto. Adam with the Dodgers. Yep, Los Angeles and National League. Five out of seven. Not too familiar with this particular prospect, but... So there you go, pretty nice. All right, let's get that ultimate draft baseball going here. All right, and let's see what we have here. We've got, oh, they're all in these in the slider box right here. Awkward. All right, we got, we're going to lead off with 15 out of 50, Yolbert Sanchez. I don't know where you'll, you're, I'm not sure of these draft prospects. What year is this, 2020? This must be recent. He is with the White Sox. Yeah, he's with the White Sox. And that'll be for Seth and the Chicago White Sox. I guess in 2019, rookie ball, hit 297, a couple homers, 12 RBIs, and about, and about 111 at bats. There you go. Just one to hold on to, see what happens in the future. Next kid is 26 out of 50, Tanner Burns. Tanner Burns, who is with the Indians. 36th overall pick in the uh, most recent draft, 2020 draft. That is for Kyle and the Tribe. From Kyle to Kyle Harrison, 13 out of 50. Yeah. 
There is Kyle Harrison, Premier Lacrosse League player. What about Kyle Harrison, Baseball? Kyle Harrison, Baseball is a New York, nope, not a New York Giant, a San Francisco Giant. They haven't been the New York Giant in ages. That goes to San Francisco, Ben. We all remember those days, of course. New York baseball giants. We've got Clayton Beater. We got we got Seekers, Chasers, and Clayton Beater, who is a Dodger. Maybe the Dodgers looking for the new Clay, for a new Clayton. Goes to Adam Kupperman, who has my Dodgers. We've got another guy that's 10 out of 10. This is Evan Carter, who is a second round pick by the Rangers. Those were the days, Rex, so the old New York baseball giants. Those are the days, the Yankees, the Giants. And the Brooklyn Dodgers, three baseball teams in New York. Man, those, those, those summers were great. All right, Evan Carter, Rangers. That'll be for Adam Kupperman, who has Texas. All right. Oh, the email's for me. Oh, so it's not a support thing. Oh, I see. You can use that email. That's for all other things. We've got uh, Dax Fulton. His name is Dax. That's awesome. Like, like, like Shepard. Yeah, I don't check that email. I don't even know. I don't have it even activated. I should activate it, but it's not activated yet. Dax Fulton. Not really good with the, with the email. Daxton is his full name. Daxton Fulton signs with the Marlins. He got a $2.4 million bonus. I think he was a com some sort of compensatory pick or something like that. Yeah, he was the number 40 overall pick. His slot value at that was $1.86 million, but they went up a little bit just, just to lock him in. I guess they really wanted him. All right, so get keep, keep Dax on your radar, Marlins. Our gimbal. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo! Oh yeah, right, Rex. I remember the days wearing wearing suits to the games and and fedoras to Brooklyn Dodger games and listening to old old Red Barber on the uh, on the wireless. All right, there you go. We've got rip cards that we're not gonna rip. We're gonna send them to you sealed. And if you choose to rip it, feel free. It was this was an online exclusive. There you go. So I guess you can look for a mini base, a mini base variation, or a mini autograph card in every rip card. Let's see. Base rip card parallels. Purples one out of two. Green one out of one of every four packs. Blue one out of five. Gold one out of ten. Red one out of fifty. Mini base parallels. Magenta one out of two. Purple one out of two packs. Green, one out of four. Blue, one of five. Gold, one out of ten. Orange, one out of 17. Red, one out of 50. Blank back, one out of 50. Other variations, one out of two. Mini autograph parallels. Blue, one out of nine. Gold, one out of 17. Red, one out of 82. Are your, your odds, in case you were wondering. All right. Let's see what we got. 
First one is 79 out of 99, Lou Gehrig. Rick Serrano and the Yankees. Yes, that was Hutera. Thanks, TJ. So you can see the little rip tabs right here. Let us know if you decide to rip it. Cubs, we're sending them sealed. Michael Stewart with Nico Horner. 79 out of 99. Then we've got 42 out of 50, Andrew Jones. Brave, Seth with the Bravos. And we've got 2 out of 25, Mike Biazza. Metropolitans. That'll be for Johnny and the Mets. I did for you, Teddy. Whoa! Man. Teddy will be breaking until dawn. And we got Tops Chrome Black. He's on Instagram, folks, at Jaspies Breaks. I mean, I would rip them. Rex? I think the first card. It, whoa. What's this? Were these usually in packs? Oh, I think they were. I think I only did one of these, huh? I was th I'm thinking of some of something else. There's Alex Bregman. There's Seth Brown. And there's Jack Flaherty. 25 out of 99. Alright, and the card here, the encased card is... Is... Wow. Ichiro. An Ichiro autograph, on-card autograph for the Seattle Mariners. Cat with that one. There you go, Catherine. That's pretty nice. No, Jet, the Nationals already canceled for this year. Yeah, they canceled the summer one, and then they tried to, I think they were attempting to do one in December, like a smaller version, but I think they ended up kind of nixing that as well. So they'll be shooting for next summer, and by then everything should be somewhat back to normal. All right, there's Nick Castellanos. There's Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. And Brendan McKay for the Tampa Bay Rays. 71 out of 75. Could be, uh, could be another Otani type player, two-way player. All right. Next up is is going to be a Cardinal. That is Tommy Edmond. That's Andrew with the Redbirds. All right, some nice stuff in this break right here. Finally, a quick round of America's favorite game, Who Am I? I'll give you some clues, and for bragging rights, you can guess who this player is going to be. All right. You have the name tagged on top. Thanks, Leaf. There you go. That's right. Yeah, Ryan Harold's favorite game. All right. Who am I? I am a baseball player. I'm a pitcher, played 19 seasons, 19 seasons, won 268 games, ERA 286, strikeouts 2,212.
Played for one team my entire career. Six-time All-Star, three-time World Series champion, three-time AL Cy Young Award winner. AL. Four-time Gold Glover, three-time AL Wins leader, two-time AL ERA leader. Pitched no, pitch no hitter in 1969. Got into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1990 with 92.6% of the first ballot votes. He was a lock. He was a lock. He's 75. Yep, Zach F. has got it. Jim Palmer. Nick Michael Stewart has got it. Yep, Jim Palmer. I guess he did some broadcasting. Oh, he tried to come back in 1991, but then it didn't happen, then returned to broadcasting. And What does he do now? I don't know what he do, th does now. But they have homes in Palm Beach, Florida, and Corona Del Mar. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. So, Jim Palmer, Baltimore Orioles. Goes to Dario. He was bummed out about the uh, about getting the Orioles, but gets the autographed baseball of this legend. All right, so you got the uh, JSA stuff in here. JSA card and here you got his autograph right there with the AL Cy Young inscriptions there's the JSA sticker right there so there you go ladies and gentlemen pretty nice break let's do uh, this randomizer and then we'll do a quick recap so let's flip back to this list right over here We'll go Atlanta for Freddie Freeman, Los Angeles Dodgers for Adrian Gonzalez. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Seven times, team on top gets it. Six and one more, right? Seventh and final time. After seven, it's going to be for the Dodgers. That goes to Adam Kupperman. Adam's also saying someone returned, almost returned a Hail Mary for a touchdown. <laughs> oh, man. I love these commercials. All right, there you go. So, Adam, there you have it. And there you go. Is he still the play-by-play -play guy for the Orioles, Jim Palmer? Nice. All right, so we got a Tommy Edmond, the nice Ichiro autograph. We had a Jason Dominguez in here, too. We got some rip cards, which we're sending sealed. We had some prospects here, some future stars, we're hoping. The Marlins guy, Dax. Some Futera, which was nice. Cody Bellinger rookie card, Bo Bichette, Cracked Ice. Dominguez Chrome, Dustin May rookie autograph. Some stuff from archives, some old school guys. Nice Jose Abreu, a patch for your denim jacket. So some pretty nice stuff, ladies and gentlemen, out of this mixer. That's Jim Palmer, as we saw. These are a couple of the highlights, among others. And then a lot of a bunch of parallels that will sleeve and top load for you as well. And there you go, boys and girls. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to that game. It was on the game that I was on. Um, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, Jaspi's 13-box Sweet Spot Baseball Mixer random team break on a Saturday, the 28th. I'm Joe for jaspiescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Keep your eye out for more mixers, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.